Kanye West had his first presidential rant or speech, and he's just like Donald Trump. The media loves to take one part out of context, lie about it, say it was dumb when it wasn't, and ignore hundreds of other amazing things that he said. The headline swirling around social media right now is Kanye West says Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves during his South Carolina campaign rally. It sounds really dumb out of context. We're gonna get to it in a second, but first, did you know he talked about Nikola Tesla, how the earth can provide for us, farming, buying land, and telling you what the schools refuse to teach you? Watch this clip. When, when we moved to the inner cities, it was because of the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution is over with, now it's time to move again. If you have agriculture as your business, you get tax breaks. Tesla, the original Tesla, says the earth is a giant generator. God has given us freedom. You can feed your family and survive off of earth, wind, fire, and yes. water, through proper engineering, through proper, but the education and the schools and these textbooks that have been given to you, have you ever got a textbook that said, okay, you can buy 100 acres for $100,000, in middle America, so you can farm and feed your family. Has there ever been a class on that? No. Oh, but guess what? There's a reason why they said, would you agree that there's a reason why they said we're going to class on that? They're lying to us. That's why. Yeah, I bet that clip didn't go viral, did it? I bet you didn't hear about that on TMZ, on Twitter, on Instagram, on all these rappers saying, Kanye West is so dumb. Meanwhile, the rappers that are saying he's dumb could never touch one of the 30 topics that Kanye did during his speech, but whatever. They don't want you to win. They don't want you to be educated. They don't want you to buy land. They don't want you to farm. They don't want you to know that you have the power. They don't want you to get tax breaks. So that's why they don't share that information with you. They have to just take one part out of context, act like it was dumb, and ignore the rest of it. Here's that Harriet Tubman clip going viral, but I'm gonna let the camera play unlike them, and you can watch the second half of that rant that of course nobody's showing. When Harriet Tubman, well Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves, she just had the slaves go work for other white people. Clearly the point he was trying to make was, yeah, she freed the slaves, but then what happened after that? Marcus Garvey said in the 1900s, we are going to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery because whilst others might free the body, none but ourselves can free the mind. The man who is not able to develop and use his mind is bound to be the slave of another man who uses his mind. He talks about how they track you and also how they're targeting your kids, scraping all of their data, and then using that to advertise products towards you. This is a conversation you hear almost no rappers talking about, no news hosts talking about, nobody talks about, which is our entire world that's now run by algorithms, artificial intelligence, and a marketing scheme beyond your comprehension that's able to predict things that you didn't even know you wanted when you thought about them or said it to a friend. So isn't that the big scoop? Not that he said Harriet Tubman didn't really free the slaves. He yeah, yes, she freed you, but then mentally you're trapped. And also, like he's talking about with land or businesses, if you don't own anything, at a certain point, you're working for someone else. If you were to say that alone, all these rappers and social justice activists would have been like, yeah, we don't own anything. That's what they complain about all the time. But when Kanye West says it, all of a sudden, that's the big scoop. And like Marcus Garvey said, until you free your mind, you're not gonna be able to free your body. So what do you have in 2020? All these phony woke rappers, all these phony woke people that claim they hate Donald Trump, 
They claim they hate Kanye West, but they're mentally enslaving themselves with lies, propaganda, and the inability to listen to a rant like Kanye West gave and take out the dozens of gems from it. Wise people take the gems out of what he said and learn from them educate themselves, become smarter than they were before, and dumb people take a Harriet Tubman quote out of context, ignore exactly what he's talking about, and laugh and say, ha ha ha, I'm so much smarter than Kanye, what a dummy. Most people who think and say that don't have nearly as much to provide. Take this as a lesson. The media takes something out of context, they make it the headline, everybody laughs and jokes about it because people don't have the attention span to actually get to the core of it, and then if you listen to the whole speech or read the whole article or look at the data yourself, you'll realize the data, the speech, or the article at hand, nine times out of 10 has nothing to do with the headline. And many times if it's not completely out of context, it's completely the opposite of what the truth is. So at what point are you gonna learn? It's 2020 and like Marcus Garvey said, you have to free your mind. So laugh at Kanye West all you want, laugh at Donald Trump all you want, laugh at middle America all you want, think you're so much smarter and then continuously making the same mistakes over and over and over and over again in 2020 when you have artificial intelligence algorithms and things that are 10 million times as smart as you running the show and you're just walking in circles like haha I'm so smart because I don't think about any of this stuff and everybody who says anything other than conspiracy theory is a conspiracy theory it's like I, I don't know who told you to think that way or that that's somehow a smart way to operate your life but it's really not so instead of focusing on the negative let's focus on the uplifting which is exactly what they don't want you to do and exactly what we do here I appreciate you watching if you'd like to support you can on patreon at patreon.com slash rare talk Become a Facebook supporter if you'd like. It's purely optional though. You don't have to do that. Have a beautiful day and I'll be back with more videos.